Hey guys, Susanna here. Um, I finally finished these guys. I, I used the In Love, In Love Art um, frame, stenciling frames. Where are they? These ones. To do the covers. Really love these. They're so cool. So um, I thought I'd spent most of yesterday finishing them. Um, they're not particularly huge. Think about four and a half by seven but they're not little either but they've only got um like four actual pages so eight sides each um it, they're not particularly used but they are a lot of work and they contain a lot of actual product like you know these beautiful stuff but we'll flip through them um and after this uh, flip through i'll have these on um on my etsy store so this one is, um, these are all using the Beatrix Potter books that I've got. I bought a whole collection and I've got a whole heap. Um, and a lot of these are from the one book, The Tailor of Lost I don't know how to say that properly. Because um, so, it had um, stuff about sewing, but it also had a few tea pictures as well. But then I've got other bits and pieces. This is from another book um, with a bunny and all that kind of stuff in there. But they're still all... Um, Beatrix Potter one. So I've got this beautiful velvet um, flower and all, it's all vintage lace and buttons and all that kind of stuff in there except for this is just a doily. Um, these are from my local patchwork, Gail's patchwork. They're so beautiful, this stuff. Um, and I use Calico Collage uh, Tea Soiree for some of the, the pictures. Like this is from Calico Collage and I've got some fabric in here. Um, and Kazo Craft. So a bit of bit of everything in this one, but the main pictures are Beatrix Potter. So yeah, all vintage lace, and then there's lace underneath, and I use book pages. So here's the first little um, tag that I made, and then I can't remember what this is from. This was just I just wanted a couple of tags. This is actually um, Calico Collage. It's so pretty. Um, you know, vintagey lace around the outside as well. So I got it's got forty written underneath it, which I thought was perfect. But these are from the the Taylor book. This one, um, so it's got lots of cat and mice in this actually. And here's another one. That was the other half. I cut it in half and then turned them into little journaling cards. Beautiful vintagey lace with blue around the outs on the end. Same with this. Um, and I got that from a thing from Kazar Craft. Old lace on the bottom here. I thought they just matched so so cutely. That's sort of really old style. So I've just turned them into journaling cards and put lace and bits and pieces on them. Really do love these two that I've made. So cute. Now, yeah, this is once again a calico collage. Same with that one. Um, that's from my Beatrix Potter book about a little Pomeranian and a cat and they're having a cup of tea and this I got as Happy Mail from I think it's Barbara I can't remember it was one of my very very first actually not Happy Mail journals um, I did a swap a tea page swap and so it was my very first swap that I ever did um, and she gave me a lot of tea themed stuff um, in some pages and some I've used from my birthday journal and then these are bits and pieces I've got left but it looks so pretty I just want to make it real sort of shabby chic and pretty um, what's it got underneath I'll show you the paper underneath it's calico collage and the pink and then there's the doily with that on there so um, plenty of place to journal because I like they're very small but I like to have journaling cards on there that was from the uh, Kazar Craft, and that's a little kitty making. That's from the the tailor. He's in bed. He actually looks a little evil. <laughs> it's like he's going to poison him with tea. But um, but it was a tea picture, so I thought I'd put it in there. And then this was another one from um, the swap that I had. She done a great job on that. And this little tea little tea card and another little journaling card. I thought it was really pretty. So, um, yeah, I've had it 
think it was my, yeah, my very first swap when I first started junk journaling. So I've kept some stuff and then I'm sharing some other stuff. So cute. And then that's done on um, it's a vintage doily with the bit sticking out the, the top. A bit of seam binding and some vintage lace along here as well. Let's put that in. Okay. Here's an, another one. He's sort of tea themed. He's got a little teapot there. And here's another piece of that one I got from the swap. Beautiful. This is actually pink Christmas paper, which I had um, a little bit left off over. It just matched really well. Calico Cacarage and then beautiful um, vintage lace on there. Put some more up there. And then that was, I think, the last piece. So I only had used four pieces from my the swap. And this is from the same book as I used this one out of. I can't remember what it's called. It's mainly about the, the Pomeranian. I'd never seen it before until I had the collection. So cute. I just thought I'd try to get as many tea themes, even though she's um, holding butter and milk. See, butter's for the scones and the milk's for the tea. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. It's got some more vintage lace here. This is from Calico Collage. Beautiful lace underneath as well. And they're all on vintage book pages, which I turn into actual pages. And then the back of it, tea is the most, it's tea is the answer to most problems. I thought that's really cute. And then that's um, another little book about, that's the porcupine, I can't remember her name either. <laughs> so um, with vintage lace, and this is from Kazar Craft um, High Tea, I think it's called. So cute, I absolutely love it. So it turned out really beautiful. It's only little, but it's got a lot of stuff in it. So um, yeah, so that will be for sale on my Etsy store. And then I've got this one, which is a sewing themed one. Oh, it's got the seam binding on there. Um, these are vintage motifs um, with a little pearl. And then this is from Kazar Craft and then vintage buttons I've got on there. This is actually from the actual cover from the tailor of Gloucestershire, I think that's how you pronounce it, and then once again using one of these around the edges, they're great for that sort of stuff, really love them, vintage joyly and lace underneath as well, more vintage lace here, okay, now we've got this one, this is actually the, the tailor, it sort of goes in progressive of the story where he's sewing got vintage buttons here this beautiful old lace I got from the thrift store I got quite a bit of that actually I was very lucky so um, this is from Kazar Craft vintage lace here I've got other this is from Kazar Craft too where I've got it it looks like it's cutting up the paper look at that isn't that beautiful I think I might have got that from Pinterest or something I just thought it was so beautiful um it's him and his cat working and then he's going out and then that's when the little mice come in and um, I think he's going home because he's not feeling very well um, and then the little mice come in and finish off his um his stuff it's so cute really sweet and this one there's the mice you can probably just see them in there I sort of roughly so um carved Tell tore the page, oh, excuse me, get my words out, and then um, because it had pictures on both sides, so pretty. And then I have, this is actually from Artsology from her granny's sewing basket. There's a few bits and pieces from that as well, um, which is a journaling card, but a really lovely saying on there. Vintage doily just fit in there perfectly, and I just wanted to tuck that in there like that. And then there's um. Artsology as well, like the little cards that she's got. Isn't she cute? The little little mouse. And here's the mice helping the, the tailor. So I've just changed them into um, journaling cards. Vintage lace along here and here. It's just really sweet, actually. This, um, this range and that beautiful vintage lace on there too. 
gorgeous fabric here. I really love that, that, that on the back. That's from Artsology. I think I cut apart a it was an envelope with a little mouse sewing. And I thought I want it to stick to in there. So I've got that on there. You can write on there and then you can also journal on the back and it's got a vintage button there. And this was from a little ephemera pack that I had stuff. It's so cute and I love it. And then this one is the centre page from the Artsology which I juzzed up a bit with bits and pieces. And then here's the mice doing some sewing again. That's actually got a um, some of my eco-dyed papers on there. Oh, bit of fluff. Beautiful vintage. I usually do fabric paper, fabric paper. That's how I make these. And then on the back, that gorgeous fabric. I just love it. And leftover remnants of vintage lace because it's a sewing one. I really wanted to sort of grungy up a bit. And then this cute little girl with buttons. It's not a Beatrix Potter, but I just thought it needed that. I had that one of these left over from when I made a, um, a sewing journal. So, um, yeah, really love how these have turned out. Um, thank you very much for watching. And um, yeah, these took a little while. <laughs> I've been sort of behind the scenes um, making these. So, um, and I'm going to be starting another project doing some other stuff as well. So, and welcome to all the new um, subbies. It's really lovely to have you on board on on this channel um yeah there's plenty of videos for you to watch in the playlists and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys bye